and seriously addictive music news. Welcome to Seriously Addictive Music News on Radio Nova, joined by Marty Miller from Morning Glory. Liam Gallagher is touring the States at the moment. He's been playing in New York and he's continuing to debut new music from his upcoming album, As You Were. Marty, that track is called Eh La. It should be called Eh Nah. Eh Meh. Meh. That just does nothing for me. No. Absolutely nothing now, for me. Now, I have to point out, obviously, this is crowd footage, yep. sound, etc. Yep. Who knows what the studio version is going to sound like, yep. uh, but not entirely inspiring. And I loved Walls off the new album. Sure. But, okay. Uh, no, this, this is doing absolutely nothing for me. And I know what you're saying about the footage. And I totally get that. But I think if you try and get the basic gist of what the band are playing, it, it's it's not floating my boat anyway. I think the fact that it's taken him this long to come out with some solo material and one of his songs is just called Eh La doesn't inspire much confidence <laughs> right for the on. album. But he is coming to our shores again in October. Did a huge gig at the Olympia a couple of months ago. Everyone went mad for it, including our very own Connor Irwin. But Isn't we'll... he playing an aircraft carrier? He um, is. Not an aircraft carrier, but an aircraft, aircraft hangar. hangar the next time. Yeah, Yeah, because the three arena at was Weston. booked out that day. Yeah. You know. Now, speaking of people who have coming to Dublin, Alice Cooper is coming to the Olympia on November 8th and 9th. His new album, Paranormal, is out. He's done a bit of an interview with NME and he's been talking about collaborating with U2's Larry Mullen Jr. But I think as an artist, I'm looking at the songs going, this is one of certainly one of the best songwriting albums on it. And one of the most unique, using Larry Mullen's, you know, on drums, was really different, you know, to bring a U2 drummer into an Alice Cooper world gave us a different flavor. Larry was great. He came in and he goes, let me see the lyrics. I've never had a drummer ever ask me for the lyrics. And I went, okay. He said, I interpret the lyrics uh, in the drums. And I said, well, absolutely then. You know, here, here's all the lyrics. And he, that's how he plays. I really, really did a great job on the album. Sounds like, look, there were loads of people who guessed it on this album, Marty, but sounds like Larry really had an influence on the overall sound. I'm amazed by this. And when Alice says what Larry was looking for, I totally get it. Yeah. As a wannabe drummer, it's like, oh, I, I appreciate see you didn't call yourself a drummer no, there. Wannabe drummer. No, no, I'm always a wannabe <laughs> drummer. Um, I, I, I can sort of hear that now, that yeah. logic in previous U2 records. I, I never realized that that was his method on you take lyrics and I will put a Drum beat to them, yeah. to them, you know, which then suggests that a, the rest of the tune has to be built around the drums. But yep. uh, that's a whole other day's argument. But that's such an interesting way of doing things, it isn't really it? It really is. And it also begs the question, if young Larry is appearing on this album, will he come out and see us at the Olympia? Because that would be kind of special. That would be amazing. Boot the tour drummer off for a night. Give him two nights well, off. Well, just give him a couple of show, a couple of songs. That'll yeah. do you. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed. You never know. We love starting rumours here at Radio Nova. Sure. That's it for Seriously Addictive Music News today. You can hear more at 1.30 and 4.30 weekdays. Seriously Addictive Music News. Radio Nova.